Hello everyone. So, red uniform, tall fur cap and absolute concentration during the honourable service. Stay off the bed! But first things first, let's get it on. The Queen's Guard is the guard of the monarch family in England. They are under the orders of the Ministry of Defence, and like others, they are sometimes sent to combat missions. Today, the Royal Guard consists of five infantry regiments and two equestrian regiments. Foot guards wear those red uniforms and black hats, which probably make it impossible to see anything at all, but this impression is deceptive. Round the clock, these soldiers guard the Buckingham Palace and other royal residences, as well as a repository of royal regalia in the tower at, but you should never, never, ever touch the royal guard, because a guard will remain silent and indifferent exactly until this moment. <laughs> Get back from the Queen's Guard! Do not touch the Queen's Guard! And these guys have weapons, and they sometimes use them. However, the British royal family are not the only monarchs who have their own guards in unusual clothing. Let's have a look at some other examples. Monaco Guard Despite the fact that the protection and security of Monaco is guaranteed by the French military, the monarch has a small armed regiment for his personal protection and the security of the prince's palace. The Palace Guard of Monaco was originally founded by Prince Honora IV in 1817 to protect the principality, but today its functions are limited to the safety of the head of state. In addition, military personnel of the corps participate in the protection of members of the judiciary, who make justice on behalf of the Prince of Monaco. The company consists of 112 people, 3 officers, 15 non-commissioned officers and 94 soldiers. As a rule, many of them used to serve in the French armed forces, where they gained the necessary experience. Interestingly, in the ranks of the guard there is even a regiment of motorcyclists for quick reaction and escort of the princely cortege, a first aid unit, a military band that includes state trumpeters, a brass band ensemble and a small orchestra present at official state ceremonies. Oh yeah, and a separate detachment of scuba divers for, well, apparently diving. What did you think? This is the real deal. Tonga Royal Guard well, the UK, the Vatican and Spain are pretty well-known European states, which everyone knows about. Let's move somewhere far away though, and look at the Royal Guard of Tonga. Tonga is a Pacific state in Polynesia, which consists of 117 islands. In total, there are about 100,000 people, not counting tourists. And the boss in this small island state is King Tupu VI. The Royal Guard of Tonga is in charge of his security. We're talking about 230 servicemen, according to the 2010 data. And don't think that this isn't even enough. In 1900, at the time of foundation, the guard consisted of only one platoon of 45 people. And until 1971, it was generally part of the Tonga police. Today, in addition to protecting the king, the guard also protects his family, participates in ceremonies, and help support civil power. In the arsenal of the guards, in addition to light weapons, there is a battery of beautiful fireworks guns. And although these devices look impressive, they are used only in solemn events. <laughs> Royal Guard of Sweden the Royal Guard of Sweden has existed since the beginning of the 16th century, and since 1523 has been constantly guarding the Royal Palace in Stockholm. For several centuries, the regiment has changed very much, and the number of soldiers has reduced. Now it is a mixed regiment, which consists of infantry, cavalry squadrons and support forces. The Royal Guard accompanies the Swedish king during all state events. Today there are almost 60 people, most of which serve in the Stockholm Royal Palace, and the rest in the Drottingholm Palace. By the way, unlike, for example, the Queen's Guard, the Swedish Royal Guard servicemen don't have to stand motionless and pretend to be inanimate. They are free to move, but at the same time they do everything else they're ordered to. Just looking at the daily changing of the guard, especially in the summer, when the cavalry also takes part, is enough to see the discipline of the Swedish Guardsmen. and they have incredible, brightly shining helmets. No, really, this is worth seeing with your own eyes. 
Norwegian Kingsguard Once upon a time, the Norwegian Kingsguard, or the Royal Guard of His Majesty, consisted of only one cavalry squad with 38 men. But over time, the personal protection of the king was increased to a whole battalion. The guard has existed and functioned since 1856, and their brightest moment came during the Second World War when these brave soldiers prevented the capture of the royal family and members of the government. Later, the guards successfully fought in central Norway, getting to be known as the Black Devils for the ferocity and dark color of their uniform. Thanks to their success in wartime, the guards received the status of real heroes in the eyes of the Norwegians. But the time of good deeds on the battlefield is over, and today the main responsibilities of this unit are the protection of the Norwegian king and the royal family through the protection of royal residences, especially the royal palace in Oslo. They are also the main infantry unit responsible for protecting the capital. And be sure, the guards of the king are more than serious about their service. Don't joke about with these guys. But despite all this severity, the Norwegian king's guard has one charming detail. Nils Olav. Sir Nils Olav is a penguin living in the Zoo of Edinburgh. During a parade of military bands in Scotland, the lieutenants of the Norwegian Royal Guard liked this penguin so much that they adopted him and made him Colonel-in-Chief of the Norwegian King's Guard. In each visit of the Royal Guard to the Edinburgh Parade of Military Orchestras, Nils Olav was promoted to rank, and not so long ago, he was even knighted. In honor of this event, a full-size bronze statue was installed in the Edinburgh Zoo, and exactly the same statue was placed at the head quarters of the Norwegian Royal Guard in Oslo. The Spanish Royal Guard The Spanish Royal Guard is considered one of the oldest guard units in history. According to various sources, it first appeared in the 7th or 11th century, which is a long time ago. This is an independent regiment of the Spanish Armed Forces, whose sole purpose is to protect the King of Spain and the royal family. The detachment consists of 1,900 highly skilled and disciplined military personnel, and despite the fact that the guards regularly take part in many ceremonial events, it is considered one of the most functional and combat-capable regiments in the world. Don't be fooled by their fancy uniform. Many of the guards are former members of special units and participated in modern wars. The guard consists of a diverse mix of servicemen, including members of the Royal Marines, the Navy, and representatives of paratroopers troops from the Air Force, so don't go around joking with these amigos. Swiss Guard When you hear the phrase Swiss Guard, you expect to see soldiers guarding some palace or royal person in Switzerland. However, instead they are in the middle of the Italian peninsula in the smallest state in the world, the Vatican, protecting the head of the Catholic Church. And it all began with Pope Julius II, who was a very warlike leader and waged wars throughout the pontificate. Of course, he needed to have his own army, but he didn't want to hire people from his country because he was afraid of a possible conspiracy. So he decided to hire 150 Swiss soldiers who were considered the best in Europe. So in 1506, the Pontifical Swiss Guard appeared and today can be considered the oldest army on duty in the world. In this army, there are now 110 people, all of them by tradition Swiss citizens and Catholics. Despite the fact that the Vatican is inside Italy, the official language of the guard is German. The Pontifical Swiss Guard only once took part in a military operation in 1527, and since then has never acted like a real army. But don't think that these guys in unusual costumes and berets are just acting so that you can and take a couple of photos for your Instagram. Of course, they do participate in solemn and diplomatic ceremonies, but this is only a small part of their service. The main purpose of the guard is to protect the Pope, and this is serious business. Don't forget that the Pope is one of the most protected people in the world.